very exciting morning here on Mix. We have a, a special guest of the Wildlife Variety. Oh, and by the way, for those of you who want to unlock the box, that will be happening in just moments uh, at 740. And uh, you can win a $50 gift card to McMunn and Yates. Uh, but uh, Joel Hartung's here from McMunn and Yates. Joel, this, uh, you know, when I said I was going to get a bear in the morning, everybody thought I meant you. <laughs> I am known to be a bear in the morning, but this is a little... This is taking it to the next level. <laughs> We're here with uh, with Rene Dubois and uh, Jean Dubois, and tell us about uh, this this bear that you found. Oh, it's just we, I found it in, in the ditch uh, by Saint Malo. He was by himself, and he was near starvation. There was no mom around, so I picked him up and I brought him home. That's about it, and we've been nursing him since. That's a week ago yesterday. And what you named him, I understand. Yeah, yeah, Macoon. Macoon. And yeah. so what does Makun stand for? Uh, in Ojibwe or Cree, it means little bear. Little bear. Yeah. Oh, I love it. And uh, we've got it all streaming on the mix page on StomachOnline.com. He's kind of hiding behind my uh, <laughs> my equipment here right now. Uh, but we'll get him out in the open so you can uh, take a good look at him. Uh, but so we're going to uh, be back in just a moment to talk more about this bear. And <laughs> it's trying to answer the phones right now. Speaking of phones, <laughs> Joel, why don't we give away that first uh, $50 to uh, make money Gates? We had a lot of fun. <laughs> he's literally, he's literally on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> the bear's hilarious. Joel, uh, we had a lot of fun with that video, and there's a clue in the video. Yes. And uh, uh, hopefully the, the damage from the golfing off of the roof wasn't too extensive. We'll see. We'll see if we get a letter or something. <laughs> I'm not sure. If you'd like to unlock the box and win $50 to make money, it's too Can I see how he reacts to me? Sure. Don't tickle his stomach yeah. because he'll pee when he gets. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. What you doing, buddy? Oh, you mean a little bit more gentle because... You don't know me quite yet, do you? No. What's all this about when you want to just relax? He's getting tired. Yeah, he's getting tired. You're tired, right? Yeah. I'm tired. I'm tired. He likes to suck on your skin. Yeah, he does. Look at him. Yeah. He likes to suck on your skin. He does that. I don't know why, but he just... Well, he's so young, he still wants to suckle. Yeah, right? Maybe oh, yeah. salt in our body. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, could be, yeah. I wonder if they... Yeah. Because yeah. oh, right. he does that to everybody. Like, Look at this. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh. It's okay. Oh, it's Do you miss your mommy? Do you miss your mommy? Oh. Should I be your mommy? Hmm? Would I make a good mommy for you? <laughs> oh, but he kisses everything. Oh. Oh, 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 no more kisses. You don't have to open your eyes. You're getting a little excited. All of a sudden, he <laughs> he's going to his den. <laughs> if you take a look at the uh, webcam over on the mix page on stomachonline.com, you will see a live bear who just bit my shoulder pretty dramatically a moment ago. Uh, so cute. He was cuddling and just just started doing a little purring and then ouch. So <laughs> it is a wild animal right here in the studios. And Rene and Jean Dubois from St. Malo found this bear. Uh, it was uh, in the ditch and uh, it was not doing too well. And uh, so now you've had this bear at home. What, what, like, what, do, you, what do you feed him? Well, at first we started with uh, baby in milk, like Infilac. Infilac. Okay. And then we went to calf uh, milk starter with uh, mixed with uh, pablum, and he seems to like that. But that doesn't seem to be enough for him. Okay. Oh, he's, <laughs> he's fighting with my monitor here. <laughs> oh. I'm literally fighting a live bear here in the studio. <laughs> Up you go, and there you are. Okay, right over there. Oh, he's growling. Let's laugh. Okay, come on. So now, you, so you're saying you also like honey, some fruit with some honey? Yeah. Yeah. He loves that. He's like Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <It's really laughs> so, what is the future of uh, little uh, Macoon? Well, we're looking for a place to uh, put him, like a sanctuary or rehab. So, what they do in the rehab, they, they train it to go back into the wild. Like, they'll, they'll let him go back into the wild after he's trained to fend for himself. Okay. And and have you had have you had him at the vet? Have you had him checked out? No, nope, today, today that's where I'm going. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Let's go back to his den. <laughs> Do you feel safe in there? Hey, eh? look at him. <laughs> you feel safe in there? 
<laughs> if we're suddenly off the air, it's because he chewed through the, c- the <laughs> cables. <laughs> when he's tired, he just flops in. That's yeah. It. <laughs> he's a bear. He can do what he wants. Yeah. He's playing hockey. Look, he's a hockey bear. <laughs> hey, he shoots, he scores. Hey, what is this? Hey, what is this? And Pavlik's at net, and a great save! <laughs> and our special guest here, of course, uh, Macoon, the bear. And uh, Renee and Jean, uh, thank you for rescuing this bear. This is a heart-touching story, and for those of you just tuning in, they found Macoon in a ditch. He was weak, he's only a few weeks old, abandoned bear cub. And uh, now this bear is in your home. How has this disrupted your household? Oh, the smoke. People are coming in and out. It's always busy. It's uh, unreal. I never thought so many people would come and see a bear. Well, you said you had a few hundred people just yesterday alone. Yeah, yesterday, over 200 yesterday, yeah. You need a receptionist to make appointments for people. Is that you, Gene? Are you the receptionist? No. (laughs) (laughs) So, Gene, uh, your house, uh, has it been disrupted? Yeah. I wash the floors and then he goes, puts his paws in his honey bowl. Okay. And guess what? He walks all over the place. And then you gotta wash honey off the floor. Yes. <laughs> and you also have a dog named Tootsie. Yep. Yeah. I'm glad you didn't name the bear Tootsie. Thanks for not naming the bear Tootsie. So, do uh, Macoon and Tootsie get along? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah they get along. Together. What do they do? They don't well, mind each other. Like yeah, the other day, they were sleeping on my granddaughter. One on each side, they were both sleeping on top of her. So Come on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is absolutely incredible. Thank you for sharing this story with us, and thank you for rescuing uh, little uh, Macoon. Listen. What a cute sound. It makes the same sound as a raccoon. Do you want to try pet the dog? That hurts. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs>